What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes here, back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rise of the Shield hero, Naofumi Iwatani from Figma or Max Factory. This figure looks very promising, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Starting off with the sexy packaging, it does have a green and black color scheme and I think they did that because it kind of fits the look of the character. At the top it says Max Factory, warning, choking hazard, we've got the window right there where you can see the figure and some of the accessories. Figma Action Figure Series, this is number 494, so man, they have really been killing it knocking these out. Pretty sure this says Rise of the Shield Hero right there, Nafumi Iwatani right there at the bottom. Then up here you've got an image of him with the same information we got on the front. Same image right here at the bottom and the barcode right here. We do have an image of him standing tall with one of his shields on this side We've got the same thing. He's got his cloak on and that looks pretty dope I can't wait to see how that turns out then of course on the back We do got some poses we can get the figure into all the legal stuff and then a bunch of other Japanese stuff that I cannot read So let's go ahead and bust this figure out and see what it's all about because I've been waiting on this one for quite a while Before I dive into the figure I do want to say that I am not familiar with this anime at all and purposefully because I decided I wanted to do another blind review just to make sure that it wasn't biased because as you guys know I tend to get really excited when it's an anime that I'm familiar with and I really enjoy it now this is a very popular anime which is also why I've shot away from it and the fact that I've just been watching a million other things that I'm trying to finish but um in terms of this figure I just have to say this is Figma when they go all in and they really give us what we want because man this figure looks and feels nice i do have one issue with it so far actually two one being that he is a little bit loose like uh it feels like he's a little flimsy more so than usual i feel like the more i mess with this guy he's probably gonna like be extremely loose i hope not but it just feels like it and then right here on his chest i have this little I don't know what this is. It's like a little scuff mark or something. I've tried to get it off, but I cannot. I looked at the box. It's not like a scratch in his arm or anything. This is just a factory defect on mine, and that does suck. But, um, yeah, that is the only issue or only issues I have right now. But, anyway, on to the look of this guy, man. This thing looks dope i love this head sculpt first of all i love this hair sculpt i love this entire body sculpt like I i'm a sucker for like gladiator type characters or armor type characters and especially when it comes to anime and this dude just looks so sick and one thing i like that they did um i don't know how any of this is in the anime but with the shield i doubt it's going to be this way with the others the one that you see on him right now it just kind of pegs on to him and i like that a lot um i really wish other figures would be like that in terms of putting these on because as you can see it's not going anywhere i don't have to worry about it falling off the hand or any kind of handle flipping around but a lot of pieces peg onto him including this piece right here um, I don't know why you would take that off, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to help in terms of articulation, the fact that you can move that around, and then these pad pieces right here on his pants also peg on. They all go on pretty easy. They don't come off at all from what I've seen so far. You can move them up, move them down, but I'll discuss that a little bit later. Um, but anyway, man, paintwork on this guy, very, very clean. Um, that looks ugly, but I mean, there's really nothing you can do about that. It is the backside of the figure and he does wear a cloak to cover that up i really like this piece right here too uh, he's got a little pouch right here i don't know if you can take that off uh, i'm not but um I, I love all of this man this figure looks really really nice so in terms of the looks and aesthetics i give it to him this is a 10 out of 10 for me now another thing i really like about this figure is that he's actually taller than most of the male figmas that we receive Typically, they tend to make their characters way too small, especially when it comes to figures like the Figma Todoroki, but this guy is definitely scaled a little bit bigger. As you can see to the top of his head, he's right at six inches, and so that's pretty dope. I don't know how tall he is in the series, but I feel like if they scaled him up, he's probably a pretty tall character. And of course, I will show some size comparisons a little bit later, so you can see how he stacks up with other Figmas and other figures. 
Moving on to the articulation, he doesn't really look up much at all because the hair is going to touch the back of that collar. You can kind of move the neck forward and lift it a bit, but you're still not going to get much. A lot of it will probably come out of the diaphragm, which I'll show in just a sec. He doesn't look down very much either, simply because you do have this piece right here kind of hindering it. He does get a little bit of tilt not too much so you're very very limited at the head he can turn enough to where he can look in opposite directions but you're just not going to get much out of it now at the diaphragm as you can see he moves very well he leans back about that much leans forward even better like way way better leaning forward uh you do get side to side his arms go up and out uh, that's that's awesome. I love that. He does have a butterfly joint. As you guys can see, he can bring his arms in pretty far. They killed that. That is awesome. It does look ugly when you have him right here, but obviously it's because that joint is coming out of the body. So that makes sense. He does have a swivel, I believe. Uh, yeah, he does have swivel. It's just tight on this arm for whatever reason. I might need to put this guy in some hot water, but um, let me take that off. Um, he does have swivel at the bicep, as you guys can see. As far as the elbow goes, it's a single joint, so you're not going to get it in too much, but you can bring it in about that much. He does have another swivel right here, which I like. He does have hands that are on a hinge, so you can move those very, very well. He does have another bit of movement right here at the waist, which also helps him crunch forward very, very far, leans back very far, of course, twist and turn, um, and felt like that was going to pop off, but I don't think so. You can kind of extend it to make him even taller if you wanted. Now, the proportions are going to look weird, but um, it is possible to do that, so interesting that's that's very interesting right there as far as the leg goes he kicks forward all the way kicks back all the way he can do the splits but what's going to happen if you try to do that is these are going to pop off and so you don't want to bring those in too much otherwise you're just going to have to take them off and it's going to look weird because as you can see it's a double ball peg right here that pegs into his legs and so that really just isn't going to work too much he does have a built-in thigh swivel it doesn't work very well but it is there as far as the knees go they can bend all the way in and so that's exactly why it makes up for that ugliness back here it just gives you a ton of range when you bring the leg in so i think that works out very well as far as the knee you also get a little bit of swivel in here if you want to turn it to posing but it's not really necessary as far as the foot goes it goes down about that much goes up about that much he gets ankle rocker and toe hinge so articulation on this guy i'd say the only place it's really lackluster is at the head just because you probably want to pose him around looking a little bit better but that's it. Everything else works very, very well. But once again, I do want to mention he's very loose. So sometimes it can be frustrating just kind of messing around with him. But once you get him in the pose that you're looking for, this guy looks nice. Now, as far as accessories go, when it comes to this guy, you don't get a whole lot, but I'm assuming you probably get exactly what's necessary with the character. First off, he comes with this default face, which is just him with a frown. He has a pair of fist hands on, and I don't know if I should consider this shield an accessory simply because it does come on him in the package, but I mean, it is there. Now, as far as facial expressions, you get one where he's yelling, pretty much he's attacking, I'm assuming, and then you get one where he's got this cocky grin on his face, and I really like that one. Now, you do get two other shields as well. You get this one that is green and gold, and as a Green Bay Packers fan, I automatically love this. Uh, this just looks dope, and I really like how this uh, looks like a little ruby is right in the middle of it. Uh, the sculpt work on this is nice. The paintwork is clean. But even better is this black, and it's almost like a navy blue. It looked like it was black, but I think it's like a navy blue instead of black. But um, And then you have like this maroon red color. I love this one. I like this one way more than the green one. Um, that just looks so nice. Now, both of these do peg on to this hand right here. And so this is where it could cause a problem for some people because 
it would have been awesome if you got another hand like this without that peg sticking out because pretty much if you pose him without the shield at all you're gonna see that piece sticking out so he doesn't come with an alternate wrist that would have been dope but as you can see the shields do plug on there just fine um, and I'll show the red one as well if it doesn't go on camera I'll just pull it off camera let's see here boom and you guys heard that click I'm sure so yeah that looks that looks awesome, man. I really, really, really like this. I just once again wish that he came with an alternate wrist piece so that you could have him without the shield. But anyway, if I can get him to stand back up, he's wanting to tumble over. There we go. Uh, he comes with a tree of hands, and I love when they include these because it makes it easy to show off the hands. You have a pair of wide open hands. These can be for when he's attacking. You have a pair of gripping hands. Then you have a pair of... I guess you can say these are like a stylish pose hands. And so that's pretty much all you get in terms of the hands. I thought he would have came with a sword. I don't know why. I thought this was the type of guy who had a shield and a sword, but seems like he just fights with shields. Now, the last thing that he comes with is what I think sold a lot of people was this cape right here. And this looks very cool. Uh, I wish there was some kind of bendy wire in here, but it is not. This thing does not have any kind of movement outside of it. It actually looks pretty plain. Um, the promo images made this look a lot better. I don't know if it was a different material, but this looks like, I mean, the, the sculpt work around here looks pretty good, but the rest of this looks like something I could have put together myself. But I am gonna go ahead and attach it to him. So let's, I don't even think I needed to pop the head off. Pretty sure I didn't. Uh, no, nah, I didn't. I could have just put this on. Um, as you see, you just kind of attach it around the collar. And then back here you have, well, if I can get it to stay on him. Let's try this again. It's always hard doing this on camera, but I like for you guys to see it. They have holes in there, as you can see. And I'm pretty sure this piece is what comes with it. And I think it goes in the top hole. Let's see if I can get this on here. Yeah, this is being a pain. So I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll show you guys after. All right. So here he is with the cape on and I got to say it looks cool, but it is once again, very lackluster. If this thing was, if it had any kind of bendy wire in it, then I would be all over this because man, it would be so dope just to pose this guy in like a walking pose and having the cape just kind of blowing out instead of just like this where it's just so plain and once again the material is just kind of whack like i mean i get it it's just i don't know I'm, I'm i'm not gonna get into that too much i don't know the material is just whack to me i don't really care for it um if anyone does a custom cave for this it will top this figure off for me but in terms of putting it on you just plug that piece right there into the top hole there's no hole in the midsection of his back so i don't know what this is for at all right here because this is obviously where you plug the stand if you want to pose him. So I don't know what that's for, but it holds very well. You don't have to worry about the cape flopping off or anything like that. It's definitely going to stick. It's pretty much the same as uh, if you have the Attack on Titan figures. It's the same as when you put the ODM gear on them. It stays just fine. So yeah, this is pretty much what you get with the cape. It's all right. Moving on to some size comparisons, here he is standing next to a couple of Figmas. We do have the Haikyuu Shoyo Hinata, we do have the My Hero Academia Deku, this is the first one that they released, and of course the Attack on Titan Aaron Yeager. And as you can see, he is taller than all of them, once again showcasing that they did up the scale a little bit when it comes to this guy. So now, once again, we're really seeing just how much height they added to this guy. Here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen. Right now, I have him posed as Sukuna. We have him standing next to the SH Figure Arts Full Power Super Saiyan Goku and the SH Figure Arts Back Arrow. And it's crazy to see that he's pretty much taller than all of these figures. I think Yuji has little bit of height on him no actually he's taller than yuji so that's crazy man they really up the scale with this guy lastly for some extras here he is standing next to the marvel legends ps4 gamer vs spider-man the mafex justice league henry cavill superman and a jazzwares fortnite raven so all in all i gotta say i'm pretty pleased with this figure and i feel like if i'm a fan of it most people who are a fan of this series or just this character in general are going to love this figure. Like the paint, the details, and everything about this guy 
just works so well. He looks so clean. And just the look of this figure, for me, makes it fun to pose. Now, back to the issues I had with this guy, because I want to make sure I do discuss them. Um, as far as the wrist peg on the hand, that's going to bother some people. It's something I feel like I can get over. Maybe I'll just pose him in a couple of shots where he's angled and you can't really see it. It's something that can be hid. Now, as far as his head movement, it's just not going to work as well as you might want it to. If the neck could move around a little bit better, maybe forward and back, you'd probably be able to get a little bit more movement out of the head. But as far as it is right now, you're not going to get much. For me, I personally dislike the cape. That's probably my main issue. But one last thing I do want to discuss, and this is just something that I discovered while I was posing him around. It does have one issue that can be very bothersome, and it's mostly if you try to get him into a vanilla pose. I did mention earlier how this figure is very loose, and so he will move around quite a bit when you're trying to pose him. The problem with that is mostly at the torso, because right here, for whatever reason, when you try to get this guy in a vanilla pose, a lot of times you will get this piece right here that kind of angles to the side. So it'll look like he's like moving his hip out when you're trying to get him to stand straight. I really don't know how to explain that, but it's something that happens with a lot of Moffex figures. Like I'll try to get him into a vanilla pose and like right now, as you guys can see, it, it looks like he's kind of angled even when you push that piece down in there and it's something you kind of have to mess around with but if you're not looking <laughs> you could take a picture of this guy and not even notice it it is a bit of a bother just because like it's very loose like i don't know if you guys can see it but he is well now he doesn't want to do it but it, it's very loose and it's kind of a bother but it is something i wanted to mention overall despite these issues i still really really enjoy this figure and i think that you guys will too so that is my final thoughts on this guy i do hope that you guys enjoyed this review if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and lastly follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of youtube i hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are pick this figure up if you can because i feel like he is going to get very expensive if you wait and um bye